This video is going to show the removal and installation of the tailpiece inserts on an Epiphone guitar. Uh, replacing them with the Faber carbon steel bushings for the tailpiece. All right, the kit comes, actually on this, because this guitar has gold hardware, I'm going to be using a set of age. They don't come in gold, they only come in nickel, nickel plated, and you know, nickel plated age. So for gold, we recommend using the age. This way, if you can see it a little bit, you know, it's, it's much nicer than uh, seeing gloss nickel under gold. Anyway, the kit also includes a bolt, an eight millimeter bolt, in order to remove the stock bushings. You simply screw it in. And use a wrench. The bushings don't have a bottom to them, so when you when you finally bottom out, it contacts the body, and as you can see, it's just pulling out fairly easily. There it is. It's out. That's the first one out. Threads are a little tight for some reason. We'll take care of that, just screw it off. Alright, the interesting thing about these inserts that they use, this is the original one, is they're not steel. I don't know what the heck they're made out of, but they're not steel. If you see this magnet, there's no attraction to it. Which is kind of unfortunate that they would use something like that, but fortunately the Fabers are Nice carbon steel. I just see very nice attraction to the magnet. Yeah, there you go. So, we all know that uh, steel is a very nice thing to have for sustain and then tone transfer. It's just much better. All right, so what you do is just screw the bolt that you had into the insert, not to the bottom obviously. You kind of get it in there. Now what you want to do is make sure the guitar is flat. That the body is not, see I had it up on a on a neck rest here. Not a good idea to be hammering in when it's up on the rest like that. So you want the body flat, the neck hanging off, this way there's no stress on the neck as you hammer the piece in. Get my trusty ball peen hammer here. And we're flush with the body. Once you do it, all right, that's the first one. I'm going to do the second one. Same procedure. Let it bottom out. These, these inserts are coming out rather easily. I'm not sure if that would be the case on every guitar. But certainly is on this one. The next aged insert, aged nickel. This one went in a little easier, but it's nice and tight. All right, so there you have it. Simple procedure. This guitar already has the other Faber upgrades, the Tone Lock Bridge, you know, it's part of the master kit, and you know, like the Tone Lock locking studs with the collars. So, you just install that. What I always do is use uh, two spacers. You can use singles or, you know, whatever. They come with six. But I always do it like this. 
where you have the flange on the bottom and the flange on the top, you get better transfer that way. I use a medium on the bottom and a small on the top. Get this back up on the neck rest. And take the tailpiece. Ah, a special tool. Tighten it. You don't have to make it crazy tight. Just enough that it's not gonna fall off when there's no strings on it. Nice and tight. Everything nice and tight. The bridge is tight. Okay, that's it. The installation of the metric tailpiece bushings. Faber metric tailpiece bushings. Thanks for watching. Bye.